Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome all of you back for another video. Anyhow, um, thank you everybody so much for all the comments on my last video. Um, up to 62 subscribers. I'm really, really proud and happy about that. Um, it's a little more work interacting with you all now, but it is so worth it. Anyways, I, can't, I just cut a big old brain fart and I can't remember whether I mentioned him in the last video or not. Uh, he's been a subscriber for a while. He was kind of a bit of a lurker. Um, but uh, he's visually impaired such as I am. Um, he's supposed to be getting glasses. Hopefully those will work for him. Um, you know, he became legally blind due to uh, diabetic retinopathy, I believe it, it was. I'm not sure. He mentioned he talks, you know, he has no shame about it. You know, it's not, not, um, has any issues with talking about it in his, in videos. So, and his, his channel is, um, Red Island Shaver. And dude, if I screw this up, I'm sorry, I believe his name is Justin. Um. I'm going to have to watch a couple more videos before your name completely sticks in my head. Um, but anyways, so yeah, uh, big shout out to him. Anyhow, so we're going to go ahead and we're not using the timeless tonight. You can tell by the title. So it is, of course, the, like the title says, Rockwell 6S. That's on plate setting 6. The blade is a brand new Persona Red on its first use. The brush, let me dump it out. Dump Oops, hang on, folks. Just unplug something. I'm going to plug it back in. There we go. Anyways. Tonight's brush is one I haven't used in a while. And it is this one. The Rockwell. I'm oh, not Rockwell. The Razor Rock Barber Handle um, Two Band Finest Badger uh, Brush. Um, it's not a real expensive badger brush, but. Zero, full, stop recording video, button. Okay, that was my phone. I went ahead and, and thought my phone screwed up. But, anyways, um, check something. Zero, full, colon 29. Okay. Stop recording video. Gotcha. Anyways, uh, yeah, I really like that brush. It's for the money. It's a good. It's a good brush. It's dense. Um, it works fine for me. The soap is smushed down into my um, timeless shaving bowl, and we're going to do it Red Island Shaver style. I took an entire sample of PA of Crown King um, Vetiver Planet and smushed it down. As you can see, there's quite a bit in there. So no more honey shave. I'm going to get out of that. And tonight, we unfortunately have a special guest here in the den. And it is <laughs> the good old back brace. Um, some of you know I have issues with my back. Give me a second here. I'm going to slap this on real fast. Um, got out of the shower. My back was hurting. Um, went ahead and just grabbed it real fast. Uh, really like this one because it's actually got little. Never thought you'd have a back brace tutorial, would you guys? Anyways, just go ahead and slap it on, and it's got these long straps that pull in front, slap over, slap over. Uh, that just took so much pressure off my lower back. Anyways, enough with the medical. T um, tutorial. Anyways, so let's go ahead. Let's get shaven. Go ahead, re-wet the brush, squeeze some of the excess water into the vetiver planet. Nice damp brush and just start swirling. Now this lather bowl. It just starts kicking up such nice lather. Mm. Green, green, really green 
the same. I've never used a vetiver soap before. This is the first time I ever have, so. Look at that. Look at that. Nice thick lather. In case any of you are wondering how a blind guy lathers his soap, I do it by sound. And when it stands up like that, I know I'm ready to rock and roll. Take some of this soap that spilled out a little bit over the side. Put the face, rub that on. This stuff kind of reminds me a little bit of, hmm. A little bit of when Grandpa used to go ahead and come over with his, with his snapper, gas-powered motor, or mower, um, with a big old catch bag that stuck off the side and fired it up and ended up cutting up the grass and um, when he took took the took the bag off and dumped it into the catch bag big canvas thing with this metal frame and it like stuck just like three four feet off the side of the mower um, but and then he would dump it in the um, kit trash can for the garbage men to come get it. And he'd always do it the, like, oh, well, he'd always come and mow our grass the day after the garbage men came. Cause he uh, knew that wet grass was of course heavier than Ah, shoot. Okay, guys. Let me rinse this off real quick. The handle. That's why you always should have clean the soap off the brush handles. But uh, Grandpa always said, when I asked him how come he always cut the grass the day after the garbage man went, because I was a curious kid. I wanted to know things like that. And my Grandpa said, because the garbage man had to pick up a trash can full of stuff and because uh, of course this was back in the 70s 80s and for the longest time the Santa Fe garbage men <laughs> in my town they pretty much had one dumpster uh, garbage truck you know with the big forks that stuck out so they saved that for the businesses and the rest of the garbage trucks were basically flatbed trucks with dumpsters mounted down on them um, it worked for them and my grandpa said I'm not going to sit there and let the with the grain first pass he said, oh yeah, this Persona Red is a really good blade to run in these six S's. But, uh, he said, I'm not going to go ahead and let the garbage men kill themselves. Nice feedback too, through the jawline. But uh, he said, I'm not going to have the garbage men kill themselves picking up a garbage can full of grass clippings, because we had a pretty good sized backyard actually. Um, 
grant it if the home was owned by my grandparents. My mom was a single mother, raising four boys. So my grandfather. Grandmother, we're cotton, cotton. I've been cotton ranchers for years, and uh, quite successful cotton ranch. Do the lip, and uh, they could afford to buy a house here and there. You know. They bought a house and. Three bedroom, two bath, and rented it to us. Because I'm pretty sure that the ranch wasn't that successful. It was only like 200 and some acres. But anyways, a little bit of water, rinse the hands, so, get a drink. Not using the sippy cup tonight, it's dirty. And yes, for you new subscribers, I said sippy cup. Um, but um, yeah, this this bed of her planet kind of reminds me of the. grass after it had been mowed a little bit. Not exact dead ringer. Pretty close. There we go. Do a quick paint. I like my cream kind of thick a little. Not like pasty, but you know, I definitely want it to have some cushion there. You know, right now, don't get me wrong. Um, when it says about the timeless, timeless is a good razor. Timeless bronze. But, Of my higher end razors, which I consider anything made out of stainless steel, bronze, brass, copper. I'm still up in the air on aluminum. Um, any of those metals consider a more high end razor. Just right through it on settings on, on plate six. Um, I've got well, I 
my girlfriend had it out Tuesday, not Saturday, to go to that Queen concert in Vegas. The concert was Wednesday, I believe. Did she head out Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday, yeah. She headed out Tuesday. The concert was Wednesday. Yeah, it was Tuesday. It was Monday, the Labor Day stuff. My niece, she went. She had stuff she had to take care of before she went. Important matters. Um, and, uh, Her and my girlfriend couldn't leave until she took care of those matters, so. But anyways, head out Tuesday. Um, I had shaved Monday? Sunday or Monday? Yeah, Monday. No, I shaved Sunday. So, yeah, shaved Sunday, skipped Monday. Um, ended up I can't remember if I skipped Tuesday or not, and then shaved Wednesday. So I got to shave either Tuesday or Wednesday, and while my girlfriend was in Vegas, my back pretty much went <laughs> and uh, there was no way, I mean, I could just barely do dishes. Um, my son, he ate a lot of and I hate to have to say this, but it is what it is. Um, he ate quite a bit of microwave stuff. Um, I just couldn't stand in front of a stove and cook. I just couldn't. My back was just pretty much I stood for too long. It was I could feel the muscles quivering like my back was gonna go out on me at any moment. Last thing I need is for my back to go out majorly because the last time it went out majorly I could not get out of bed for about four or five days. And at the time, the gal I was with, her children, against the grain, at an angle on my neck, kind of in an arrow shape, because of the way the hair grows. Um, one thing about these 6S, Rockwell 6S razors, they are smooth. Very, very smooth shaving razors. So... I'm not quite sure whether this or the timeless is a smoother shaver. So, um, yeah, I'm still up on the air now. I'm not saying the timeless is bad. The timeless bronze is a great razor. It's 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 a you know wonderful wonderful razor to hold. Wonderful wonderful razor to use. Um, up on the cheeks. Some people might say, why do you guys why I drop $140 on a razor? Well, because I want to, and it will pass to my son one day. Not sure if my 34C or my 37 slant or any of the other pop metal razors I got will, but I know this one will and the timeless will for sure. They'll last. Along with my Mamba. And probably most of my Gillettes too. Anyways, so, um, but yeah, so my kitty ate quite a bit, so yeah, this is the first shave, and like I said, it's Saturday evening, late Saturday evening, no, not late, it's not 11 o'clock yet, I don't believe, but, uh, first shave I've had since Monday or Tuesday.
I mean, I can go straight up against the grain on my upper lip with this razor. No issues. Which I can do with most of my razors. But, for those of you who can see, I'm doing it quite quick. A little buffing motions. For those of you who can't see, well, I have trouble seeing and you now, which is Red Island Shaver and Christian. I'm doing just quick little strokes on the lip. Just quick little buffing. I don't know on lip. The residual slickness for those of you who are new to light shaving, which I don't know what that means. That means basically your face still has enough slickness on it where you can get away with doing exactly what I'm doing now. Which is going against the grain. Um, to knock down little spots. I have no issues down here like I do with some razors. Anyways, that's the shave. Um, I'm going to go ahead, cut away, shave the dome, and I'll see all of you back for the post. See you in three, two, one, now! We interrupt this um, video for a quick announcement. Anyhow, uh, last night, got done recording the video, got on my channel real quick, see what was up, noticed that my subscriber number ticked up by one. Um, he has a channel of his own, small channel, so it's kind of going to be a small channel shout out as well. Anyways, the channel name is Shave and Butcher, Shave Ampersand Butcher. I'm not sure if Shave and Butcher is capitalized, but instead A and D, it's the ampersand. Anyhow, um, he's a gentleman with Parkinson's disease. He has less than 50 subscribers at this time, I do believe. And he mostly uses straight razors. And I guess he's a fan of the Weight and Butcher brand straight razor, hence the name of the channel. Anyhow, go ahead, check him out. I haven't had a chance to look much at what he's got, but what little I did seems like a um, nice dude. Anyways, so... Welcome to the channel, Shaven Butcher. I hope you enjoy your time here as one of my subscribers. Appreciate the support. Appreciate the subscription. I'll let y'all return back to the video. Late. Uh, oops, I wasn't face debating. What do you mean? <laughs> Anyways, no, that was a, that was an excellent shave. Face, baby butt smooth. Oops, missed a little bit of soap. I don't want Miss Jill to get after me. Um, grab a soap behind my ears. That's kind of Ken Surf's job to do. That's kind of Ken Surf's thing anyways. Um, anyways. Um, yeah. Face. Baby, baby butt smooth. My bathroom smells like a freshly cut lawn. Or very close to it. As you can see, the head, baby butt smooth. The back. Baby butt smooth as well. Absolutely love that success. Um, for those of you who are newer to the channel that never heard the story, I ended up getting this success because my girlfriend, um, Scott Osmer, the clean shaver, when he was really active, and he hasn't been active for a while, and I understand he has a child with special, a boy with special needs named Noah. Um, if you've been around in this community for a while, you know what I'm talking about, about Noah. Um, last I heard, he was starting his own business, so that takes time away. And so kind of the YouTubing just kind of fell away. 
he's nowhere near as active as he used to be. The last video I saw of his was he was showing everybody a watch, a wooden watch he got. That was really cool. He likes watches, so. Um, but he was, you know, tried the rock world success, thought it'd be gimmicky, and he was like, this ain't gimmicky at all. We contacted Gareth at Rockwell and said, hey, look, could we do a, a giveaway? Because he was going to like, I'll just give mine away. That's one they sent me. And he was like, I, I got to keep it. And Gareth is like, yeah, we can do a giveaway for your for your folks, for your viewers. And he said, nominate somebody. And, and, um, and we'll pick that we'll pick we'll pick a nominee and um, went ahead and, and I told my girlfriend about it and I picked I nominated my brother because you know uh, my brother he had nowhere near what I had as far as uh, razors went and all that and um, so unbeknownst to me my girlfriend she goes on right after me and nominates me um, you know and, and turns out I guess that that nomination you know wasn't just the one that was picked but it also had the most likes i don't know if that took part you know took uh had anything to do with with the pick or whatever the nominating or the um the number of likes but anyways uh that was picked and he went ahead and he read it i'm just like looking at my girlfriend like oh you sneaky girl and I thanked her very, very much. I thanked her because I wanted a 6S for a while. And now I got one. And it's awesome, awesome razor. And so if you haven't tried it, you got to at least get the 6C and try it out. You know, and hey, I guarantee you, so many people love the 6S and the 6C. And so many people want them. If you didn't like it, you could flip it no problem on the BST page. Anyways, so... Uh, enough with going on about that. Um, so, obviously the Razor did a good job. The blade, Brisson Red's one of my favorite blades. I put them up there with Astra as far as um, how much I like them. I put them right up there with Astra. And um, I just really, really like them. And uh, that was on its first shave, of course. The brush... Razor Rock two band finest badger in the uh, 24 millimeter knot in the in the um, barber handle acrylic handle absolutely love that brush nice weight just really feels good nice dense brush great face lather great for bowl lathering um, the soap first time I ever used it really really like it I can still slightly smell it on my face. I'm definitely going to be going ahead and getting another, get a full tub of it because I just dumped the whole sample in there and I'd say I got enough for one, two, at least two, maybe three more shaves. So I'll just like let this lather dry in there because it ain't going to stick around long enough to be a problem. The um, Next soap I'll go ahead and do this with um, K Shape Works uh, leather and strop stropping leather or whatever it's called. Uh, then, yeah, sorry brain fart guys, um, but yeah, everything worked great. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna apply the witch hazel Dickinson Dickens Dickinson witch hazel. I can't talk. <laughs> witch hazel. I love it. Excellent stuff. Now and then if I had a bit of a rough shave or I'm trying out a new razor, I like to use the alum. But this shave was not rough. Not rough at all. Yeah, if any of you have both the Carve and the 6S, um, Where on that scale with Rockwell, which would be the closest plate choice um, of the Rockwell if you was to get the Carve, Christopher Bradley Carve E-plate? What setting would that be? If anybody, if anybody could sit there and tell me in the comments, I'd appreciate that. Um, the B and the C and the D, you know, whatever. Um, 
you know, any information on that, I'd appreciate it. I haven't had a chance to check out their website yet. Um, you know what? I haven't used this in a while. This is a good smelling one. No, that'll that'll clash with my uh, with my aftershave. Maybe a post shave bomb. Cooling. The weather is cooling off here. Not during the day so much. Closer at night though, it cools down right nice. So I think I can get away with starting to use my bomb again. I could just wipe that all up off my arms. My son ended up cutting himself on the top lip somehow, we're not sure. No, he was saying that kind of was hurting a little bit and it was kind of red and inflamed around it. And my girlfriend cleaned it off with peroxide and asked, said, can, I, can I try some of the Nivea on there? And I'm like, yeah, go for it. She put a dab on there and um, after a minute or two that, that, that redness just went away on him. Sadly, towards the end of the bottle, Adidas, um, Polarity or Pulse, something like that, I forget exactly what it is. I love the smell of this stuff though. It's got some burn. Yeah, got some burn. Be it, folks. Probably could have got away with using a little less, but you know what? Oh, smell like Frenchman. that bottle out and put it away because as soon as I get enough after Nivea bomb bottles and glass aftershave bottles um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try making my own post shave bomb and my own aftershave um, it might work out, it might end up being an absolute disaster that makes me break out in big old red splotches and and it might smell like a horse's ass. I don't know, but yeah, I'm gonna give that a try. It'll give me something to do, tinker around a little bit. Anyways guys, that's the shave. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if I rambled a little bit, sorry about that. Um, just as many days as I went without a shave, um, shower and shave because of my back. This felt really good. So yeah, I was just caught up in the moment Kind of in the zone you might say um, Anyways, thanks for watching. Mr. Back Brace. Thanks. you. Anyways, I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade um, Likes comments subscriptions always appreciate if you ever need to reach me just Lance 59 at gmail.com all lower space. No no um, all lowercase, no spaces. And, oh yeah, one more thing. Mel, if you're watching, as far as I know, you're still a subscriber. I gotta check. But if you are watching, awesome on that first, first um, shave video. Anyways, bye-bye, folks. Take it easy.